I told you guys I wasn't vlogging, <laughs> but I'm vlogging. I'm about to run in and get a spray tan right now. Welcome back to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't. If you're not new, welcome back. Love you guys. I gotta go get a spray tan because you already know I'm late. And I will come back and update you and show you how it looks. Okay, spray is on. I'm still a teeny bit sticky, but honestly, it looks so good already. I love a good spray tan. I have been going to this place in Bedford. If you guys are in New Hampshire, it's called a glow. I've gone here twice now and I love it. The sprays are extremely natural, but they look so good. Like you can just see I'm so much darker than I was. All right. So the plan for this week's vlog is going to be kind of similar to last week where it's going to be like a get getting ready to go on a trip with me, but I think we're gonna vlog a little bit of the road trip. I think we're gonna do a little bit when we get where we're going because it's so beautiful there and we're staying at this huge Airbnb lake house that I wanna show you guys. So I'm gonna try, I won't have Logan this weekend, so I'm gonna try to be a vlogging queen and do the damn thing because I know I can do better than last week. So yeah, I think it'll be fun. So spray is on. I got my nails done yesterday. I had her attempt the Hailey Bieber Chrome and I like them, but I'm such a perfectionist. She just didn't buff them in circles the way I've seen everyone on TikTok do it. <laughs> she did straight lines. So you can just see lines in certain light. I feel like you can't really see it right now, but I think they're really cute. I got my toes done. So now the tricky thing is, I think I'm gonna spend the day obviously with Logan because we're leaving him tomorrow, Lord help me. But I'm also gonna just, I think pack during the day because I can't film the campaign I need to film for Glow Recipe until um, I wash my spray tan off. So that will end up happening probably this afternoon or tomorrow morning and I'm gonna do some more behind the scenes for you guys because you guys really seem to like that in last week's vlog. You guys really liked that vlog. So I'm gonna try and do more of that stuff behind the scenes of shooting campaign, getting all ready for me with me for this trip. I'll show you guys the outfits I'm packing because I got some super cute stuff because there's a ton of festivities this weekend. And this is my best friend's wedding. If you are just joining the vlog fam right now, it's in upstate New York and I'm so excited. So welcome to the vlog and let's go. Okay, so we are officially unpacked and we are repacking. So I have, let me show you guys, just a smaller little rolly. That's what I'm gonna pack in today. I have mostly everything here. Here's the cute fun stuff that I wanted to show you. So first is what I'm wearing to the rehearsal. Maybe I showed you guys this already, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna put it on because I have my spray tan, but how freaking cute are we? It has these puff sleeves and then these little button, like buttons on the sleeve. So they're gonna be a little poofy. I found this at Sabo and I'm in love with it. The color, the length, the little button details down the front. How cute is that? So I'm wearing this to the welcome drinks, which is kind of like, sort of like the rehearsal dinner, but a little different anyway. That's this. So that is obviously going in. It comes with a little tie too around the waist. I feel like I'll wear that, but I haven't tried that yet. And then Saturday there is a party, an after party for like friends. And I'll be wearing another item from Sabo, which is hard to kind of show you guys, but it's this little, I don't even know what to call this. It's almost like a two piece, but it's not cause it's connected in the front with the backs open. This is very hard to show you. It looks outrageous when I'm holding it, but it's like this on the top. And then here's a little skirt on the bottom. And here's the back. Kind of open. What a fail this is right now. You guys get it. I just feel like this color is so cute right now and I'm excited. I think I'm either gonna wear it with sneakers or sandals. It's very chill, low key day, but I just wanted an outfit all ready to go. Okay, so that is packed. Then I think I'm just gonna throw this in there in case I need another sundress for just like to throw on one day. I forget where I got this, but I just think this is super cute little sunflower. I don't know, it's like a little mini dress, has a little, I don't know, a little ruching here. And then 
obviously like these ruching and ruffles on the sleeves. I just love this. It's super cute, easy to throw on. Again, I could wear this with sneakers, sandals, whatever. So I'm just throwing that in because I love to overpack and I love to make things hard for me when I'm trying to close my bag. Okay, so here's what I'm bringing for skincare. I have, I'll quickly just run through it all. I have my toner from first aid and this is the cleansing oil and makeup remover which is amazing especially for travel because i hate having to bring a makeup remover and like for the night and then like a morning cleanser this is a two-in-one so this is all i have to bring for a cleanser i'm bringing my resurfacing liquid because i can't live without this stuff my eye duty my favorite eye cream ever then i'm gonna bring my double repair face moisture for nighttime and then I have my Elemis Marine Collagen for daytime. This is a new serum I've been testing out from True Botanicals. People swear by this, so I'm gonna keep using that. I have my Clean Copari deodorant. I have some contacts, toothpaste, and then a couple lip products. I have my Road lip mask or, or like lip treatment, whatever, for the day, peptide lip treatment. And then this is the Lawless, forget the filter, overnight lip mask. I'm obsessed with this. This is replacing my, what's the one that everyone uses that I've been using forever? Laneige, the Laneige lip mask. I think this one's better. I think it's better. I'm just saying it, okay? And then I don't go anywhere without my ultra repair cream for like my elbows, my hands, my body. If my face is really dry, I'll put it on my face, but. Yep, I know that's a lot, but honestly, that's not that much for me. That's pretty good for me, to be honest. I feel like I pared it down quite a bit. Oh, I also have my Elemis Superfood oil because I love to put an oil on as my last step before bed skincare just to lock everything in. So I actually need some more contacts, but there you have it. And I love this bag. Kopari sent it to me, so I don't think you can buy it. But if you are looking for a bag like this, I feel like you could find one on Amazon easily. So that is packed. We are good. For hair stuff, I actually brought my Dyson to LA and I ended up using it for Logan's birthday. Of course, I got no footage of it, but I loved styling my hair with this on the go and I didn't think I would. Like I thought bringing the Dyson would just be more trouble than it was worth, but I was perfect because I had done my makeup. My hair was almost completely dry, which is the best time to use this. And it just was a very quick, easy way to style my hair beautifully. So I'm definitely bringing it on this trip as well for a similar situation if that occurs and and or the wedding i don't know how i'm doing my hair for the wedding yet and then i'm obviously bringing my eva nyc curler because i always curl my hair with that so those are packed now I'm trying to make this stay organized this is a little gift for the bride that i cannot show you so sorry that's just going in right now before i forget it because you know i will then we have PJs. I am obsessed with these PJs. They're like my most comfortable PJs. They're from Tommy John and they're these cute little boxer shorts that you can wear with underwear or not. I usually don't when I'm sleeping. And then the softest little V-neck t-shirt that goes with it. It is adorable and so comfortable. And we're staying in this house with everyone. So I wanted to, like normally I wear like a tank top and underwear to bed, but I need to be a little more, you know appropriate for all my best friend's husbands <laughs> not be disgusting and then i have a skims tank top two pairs of jean shorts i need to probably pick one because realistically i'm not gonna wear both but i cannot decide so i might pack both does anyone else like this like i'm so bad i'm gonna just fold them up and roll them really small so it's really okay i'm justifying it i have three button down shirts. I need to choose one. I have just my regular white oversized. I have the green one. These are both from Amazon. And then this little tan one. I just love having these to throw over tank tops with shorts. These are like staples. So I'm probably going to bring the white one and mix the other two. I'm sure I'll regret that, but it's okay. It's okay. I also think I might just throw these white jeans in because I might want to change into white jeans if it gets chilly. I'm like justifying everything I'm packing to you guys, but like I I truly probably, I probably will not wear these. Like, what if I need pants? You know? I'm packing them. They fit, they fit. Last thing I wanna show you is just, just the kind of comfies that I'm bringing. And my mom actually calls these bang around clothes, which I think is the funniest thing ever. When she started saying that, I was like, what is bang around clothes? Mom, just, you know, just like clothes to bang around in, you know, just like 
banging around. And I was like, I don't know if you know what you're saying. Anyway, I say it all the time now because I think it's hilarious. It's like an inside joke with me and Ethan now. We both say, okay, what are you bringing for bang around clothes? So I am bringing these Amazon shorts that are like a Lululemon dupe. I am obsessed with these. I had them in green and then I was like, no, I need them in black as well. I got these in extra small. I'll, they're linked on my Amazon storefront. I'll link everything that I'm talking about as much as I can below for you guys. But oh my God, these are so good. So I feel like I'll be wearing these whenever you know, we're just like getting ready or walking around or just chilling. So I had to mention those. And then I'm just throwing in a couple of tank tops and like a black bodysuit and extra stuff I definitely don't need. Yeah, the rest is just underwear, socks, bathing suit. Oh, shoes. I probably need to pair these down, but I'm definitely bringing one or both of these. Probably these for the rehearsal and these definitely for the wedding. I showed you guys the wedding dress in last week's vlog. So you know what that looks like. That is the blue strapless revolve one. Maybe we can pop a photo up right here. Then I'm bringing my little Reebok sneaks. I never wear these and I love them so much. So I'm bringing them to force myself to wear them. I think they'd be cute, cute with that green dress. Agreed. Okay. Agreed. And maybe one more pair of sandals. So I'm going to try and pair this down. I will finish up packing and I'll check back in with you in a bit. Good morning, my loves. Um, I just filmed for a glow recipe and I forgot to do behind the scenes, but I'm just wrapping up. So I'm going to show you. We did, oh my God, I'm honestly obsessed with this. Basically, you can shear out any foundation, any product with their drops. So concealer, foundation, blush, and it just gives this insane glow and hydration to the face that you don't normally have with like a full matte product, but you still get the coverage of the matte product. It's amazing. So I'm very excited about this video. If you don't know about these, I use them all the time. They're so good under foundation. Love, love, love. And they sent over this cute little pan. I've always wanted one of these and the little mixer. And I use this. And the other thing I use in this video that I'm obsessed with already is the Jones Road mascara. Oh my God, it's good. The lip combo is El Maquillage Carly Bible AI, which I believe is discontinued and Fenty Sweet Mouth Gloss Bomb. Okay, I have to now put all my makeup back in my bag and not get repacked, but I need to like now like zip up my bag. My mother-in-law is here. So we're about to leave Logan in the next like 10 minutes. Send prayers. We can do it. All right, guys, we're on the road. Well, we're technically not on the road. We just pulled over to get some food and everyone's inside right now. So that's why I'm like, mm, I'm gonna vlog. <laughs> so we left Logan. I cried a bunch, but I'm okay. I know he's okay just so weird leaving him for the first time. So we have about four hours left. I'm gonna try and figure out ways to make the time go by. I do have a couple things I need to edit on the road and then yeah, just chatting and catching up. We're riding with two of our best friends who are also going to the wedding and I've been friends with for years. So that's the update. house we're currently in our room it's so cute it's like an a-frame but bigger if that makes sense it's so beautiful in here about to go get ready with the girls i think i'm just gonna leave the makeup that i have on because it's very minimal and just go on top of it just go with it because i really i think there's a bug in here no it's outside i really don't feel like washing my face and starting over you know that feeling so i'll show you guys the final look i'll show you guys the dress i'll show you the full fit and all of us and yeah we just had a couple cocktails chilled um, we're hoping to get ready early early enough so that we can go and relax and take photos and, you know, just do our girl thing, you know? And we're so excited. This is the bathroom, so I can show you guys my fit whenever the time comes. But I need to go put this face on. Okay, I am ready. Guys, I don't like the dress as much as I remember liking it. The sleeves are really aggressive. <sighs> like 
what? I don't know, but there's nothing I can do. So we're going with it. Let me show you a close up of the makeup. All right, here we are. Not too late. I'm actually happy with how the makeup turned out. It's just the sleeves. They're so aggressive. I don't remember them being this aggressive. But we're doing it. Maybe I'll try and get the girls to just try and show you what the girls look like if they don't get too embarrassed. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, so we are all ready for the wedding. We just took some photos. It was so emotional. I need to fix my lip, um, but it was amazing. We're so ready to go. We were gonna take our dresses off because we have a little in between time, but let me show you guys my dress. Here's obviously the makeup look. I'll try. I can definitely recreate this for you guys and do a tutorial because this shiz is not moving and I just love how it turned out. We did lashes. Here's the dress. It's from Revolve. I think I need to cut these things off but I love it, it's so comfortable. Just strapless. Let me go find a mirror for you so I can show you the full thing. Okay, we're in the bathroom, so now you can see the full dress. I showed you guys this dress already, I forgot, but here it is fully on, ready to go. I did Dyson with the hair and I actually love how it turned out. I was planning on curling it more with my curling iron, but I decided against it because I just really like how it turned out. So I might touch it up a little bit, but this is the look, I'm gonna sign off the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A little different than what I usually do, but I hope it was fun to watch, entertaining. Um, I'll link everything I possibly can in the description box for you. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.